Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to General Admission Sports. This is the first video I've ever done of this type where I'm kind of reacting in real time to something that, that I'm looking at. Now, if you subscribe to the channel, if you follow the channel, you know that we have our GAW series, our WWE Universe Mode series that we're doing, um, that, that we're really starting to ramp up, and I'm having a ton of fun with that, so I'm a huge fan of wrestling games and modern wrestling games and this whole WWE 2K saga between 2K20, which cost me four months of getting GAW ready because of how bad that game was, um, and you know the cancellation of 2K21 and all that. We'll get into it, but that whole thing I've been following is really interesting. I'm curious what they do. Um, and secondly, uh, there's no sports going on, so <laughs> this is as good as we can get, and uh, to be very honest with you, I didn't feel like talking about the draft. There's people that know so much more than me um, that you'd rather listen to, and you know, to be honest, especially with the NFL, um, the draft is just kind of, you know, there's not much you can say until you start to actually get into training camp and see, you know, how many of these guys are healthy. Uh, how do they stack up on, on their actual teams with free agency and especially with everything going on right now? Anyway, uh, WWE 2K has just uh, put out an announcement about 20 minutes ago uh, about what is in the future for the franchise. So that's what I have up right now. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, so this is all corporate bullshit up here. I studied marketing in college. I understand all this, all this garbage speak right here. Um, okay, new game. Uh, let's come back to this. This is gonna be this is gonna be the big one. So let's come back to that. Uh, okay, more corporate bullshit here. Uh, that's all about that. All right, we want to address 2K20. More corporate stuff. Um, that's just recapping all the crap that went on. Uh, we've heard your request to keep the WWE 2K19 servers running. They will remain active for the time being. Uh, that doesn't mean anything to me. So, uh, according to reports, they were supposed to close at, uh, what, May May 27th or something like that. Um, so now they're saying they'll remain active for the time being. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Because if they're not giving a date, they can just close them whenever. So... You know, we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see what they actually mean by that, or if they're just gonna extend it by like a month or two. Um, so we'll have to wait for that. Um, we are applying what we've learned. Uh, okay, uh, we're extending the production timeline. We'll not be releasing uh, 2K20 or 2K21, I guess. Um, yeah, we will not be releasing 2K21, which of course we had heard about uh, during a WWE investor call. If you've been following, so uh, that's not a surprise. Uh, still with visual concepts. We recruited Patrick Gilmore to serve as our executive producer, lead these efforts of visual concepts. Patrick has over 25 years of experience in video games. Um, okay, Disney's Aladdin. I didn't play that. Killer Instinct, which I've heard is good. Medal of Honor I've played, and I enjoy uh, Amazon's New World. Um, I have not played that. I don't know much about that. We'll be overseeing the development. Um, we're confident already. Uh, and that's all super crap stuff. Okay, so let's come back here. Obviously, the meat of this announcement, we knew about 2K21 being canceled, um, 2K19 service being extended. We had heard rumors, and then, obviously, uh, we don't know an exact date on that, so it doesn't really mean anything. Um, so this, this is the exciting part. Uh, we're thrilled to introduce you to WWE 2K Battlegrounds, a completely new WWE gaming experience that will feature arcade-style action and over-the-top superstar designs, environments, and moves. Okay, so all of this we knew from previous reports that said we were going to be getting a, a non-sim WWE game. So this makes a lot of sense with that. Um, we're focusing on social pickup and play fun, but with plenty of depth for those who want to get away with All right, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll watch this teaser trailer in a second. Uh, whether you're a casual gamer, just, uh, okay, whatever. I'm sorry I'm skipping through a lot of this. Uh, you can read the announcement on WWE 2K's website, WWE.2K.com. Uh, if you want to read the whole thing, I'm going to skip through all the bullshit, because uh, I don't need to bore you with that. Uh, WWE 2K Battleground is scheduled to launch this fall, and we look forward to sharing more information about the game in the coming months. Okay, so from this, we learned it's a non-sim game, arcade style, releasing in the fall. All right, that's what we know. 
So let's take a look at this teaser trailer and uh, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it in full and then we'll go back kind of break things down. All right. Uh, I turned the sound off. I don't know if there's copyrighted music or whatever. Um, so if you wanna watch it with the sound, just this 25 second thing, um, then go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is this is interesting. This is interesting. All right, so we got like 19 seconds of actual gameplay. Okay, um, first thing that jumps off the page to me. Let's go back here to the to the uh, slate here. Um, there is no platform. They do not list a platform that this game will come out on. Normally, you would see it, you know, right down there, um, or you know, you would see it somewhere on the screen. But we're not seeing it right now. So that's a bit scary. <laughs> it's a little scary um, that they don't have a platform. Uh, let me go down here. There was something that I wanted to. Uh, okay, this this is one of the parts that I skipped over that I want to talk about. The game is being developed by Saber Interactive, the studio behind NBA 2K Playgrounds, who have been hard at work at WWE 2K Battlegrounds, and are excited to let you smell what they're cooking. Um, I have played 2K Playgrounds. I think it's a lot of fun, at least the first one. I thought it was really interesting, especially for $20, I think is what I bought it for. At a $20 price point, it's really unique. The art style is what is what drew me in. It looked really cool. The gameplay was fun. Um, it did get a little bit repetitive because it's not very deep. What keeps me engaged with sports games is when they're deep and you can learn a lot more. Like FIFA is a classic example where the more you play, the more you learn about the way FIFA works and how to you know better plan your tactics and all this kind of stuff. Um, so Playgrounds didn't really have that, but at a $20 price point, I didn't care. I picked it up, played it for a few hours, played it with some friends, we had a great time, and that was it, and it was fun, and then I got what I wanted out of that. So based on that, um, I'm, I'm hopeful for this one because I enjoyed Playgrounds. The lack of platform that is coming out on does scare me, I assume that it's coming out on PS4, Xbox One, maybe PC. We'll see what they're doing. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just PlayStation and Xbox. Um, with 2K's track record, I'm scared that it's a mobile game, although I don't think that's likely. So let's go through this trailer a little bit. So, all right, we got The Rock. Um, graphics are actually okay here. That's a fairly detailed model, especially for what I assume is not a scan. I, I mean... I, I, I doubt it is. I don't I don't think they have money for that with this game. All right, this is interesting. First shot we see, this is an interesting arena here, kind of in the middle of a forest, and we have John Cena, to, or, uh, The Rock tossing John Cena into the mouth of an alligator. This would be really cool. One thing that the Sim games, the mainline WWE 2K games, have been missing for a long time is... Uh, interaction with your environment. You get to ram your opponent against walls, put him through tables, or the announce table, and then use the ring bell. And maybe the championship if it happens to be sitting there. And that's it. That's all the environmental interaction that you get in WWE 2K. Whereas, if you look at some of the older games, if you look at like SmackDown vs. Raw and those older games, you get a ton of interaction with the environments. I mean, literally, fans would like hand you shit that you can hit your opponents with. I mean, if you if you're if you're brawling around in the crowd, some fan can like hand you a guitar and you can bash your opponent's skull in with it. That's the kind of interaction that I want to see. So this is this is promising here that I could actually maybe throw my opponent into an alligator or something. Uh, that's something that that I'd love to see. All right, let's see. We got Brawl. Um, this character model does not look as good as John Cena and The Rock. I am not sure why. I believe this is Charlotte Flair. This is clearly not a scan. So maybe The Rock was a scan. I don't know. Um, but this is this is Charlotte Flair. It, just, it looks kind of weird. Like the proportions are kind of off. And I, I understand. I'm saying the proportions are off in relation to. Uh, the Rock's character model, because if you look at if you look back at the Rock, actually pr proportionately that actually makes sense. He's kind of small and cartoonish looking, but the proportions actually make sense. This one of Charlotte Flair doesn't. Um, th it's a it's a small it's a small gripe. Don't don't take that to mean anything. All right, uh, cool effect here. 
when she hits Becky Lynch. That's pretty cool to see. Uh, different arena. That's something interesting. Uh, oh, crap. I went back too far. Uh, yeah, totally different arena. Completely different, which is good. Um, variety of arenas is going to be good. And you can get away with having fewer of them if they all look different. Again, a real pitfall of the mainline series is that they include all of these arenas, all of these pay-per-view historic pay-per-view arenas the problem is, is that because of the wwe directive that all arenas should look the same all of those arenas look the same so there's no significant difference in any of them if you go into the arena creator the best you can do um as far as creating your own arena if you wanted to get super crazy the best you can do is put it outdoors and have like some crazy stuff hanging from the sky somewhere like that's the best you can do in 2k20 because you have that little, the, the one match that takes place at uh, that Winterfest arena, that that's really cool. That's the most different arena that you can get outside of the DLC. So, you know, this, again, if there's only six arenas, but they're all really different and have their own, you know, different environmental actions and stuff, um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that if that's what they want to do. I don't need 57 arenas. Uh, oh, cool effect here. So this might be like uh kind of like a payback type of power up maybe that you can get uh again would really feed into the arcade style uh which that's pretty cool all right so there's john cena using that same thing yeah john cena's model looks really good as well so i'm i'm i wonder i wonder if they scanned like certain certain superstars or if they were on a if they were on a really tight schedule so charlotte flair couldn't get there because now that I think about it Becky Lynch her model looks great as well a little bit disproportionate again but faith her, her facial model looks really looks really good it looks almost like a scan so again all that all that would say to me is it just gives me an idea of how long they've been working on this so if they do have a lot of a lot of wrestlers scanned then that tells me that this might be a game that they were planning on releasing anyway and now they're just hyping it up even more because they're going to cancel 2K21. If they only have certain wrestlers that are scanned, then that would tell me that they actually are kind of rushing this. At least that's what I would assume. Anyway, um, I could be totally wrong on that. I could be completely off base. I could be off base with any of this that I'm saying. So, you know, take this for what it's worth. Oh, this is, this is a callback to WWE All-Stars. If any of you played that game, I played it on the PS3. I have it on the PS3. Um, the cool thing about WWE All-Stars is that your moves would happen. It's like, it would be like, it would be like a cartoon version of the Superstars move. So the, the one that stands out to me because I just played it is the Ultimate Warriors, um, his military press throw the guy like 50 feet up into the air and then just let him drop onto the ground so all of the moves would look like that like triple h's pedigree they would jump up 10 feet and then triple h would 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 pedigree him uh you know falling out of the sky so that seems to be kind of what we're getting here is john cena up like you know 15 feet in the air ddting the rock which is really cool. All right, again, we're getting a little bit of a look at some of the skyboxes here, some of the backgrounds in this arena. This is pretty cool. This is way, way different than the one that we saw Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair in. Yeah, this one here, we got a look here. Yeah, um, again, that's really good. That's really, really good. The, the more different the arenas are, the less, the, the, the fewer of them I need. And that goes, that goes for anything, arenas, move sets, you know, clothing options, whatever. The more varied they are, the fewer I need, generally speaking. So this is cool. This is actually, this is a super nitpicky thing, um, but just something that stands out to me. This is a cool animation right here. Look at, look at the way, oh, that's the Rock DDT and John Cena. I, I got that mixed up. Look at, so look at where Cena's head is right and then look where it makes contact with the ground can i can i put this in yeah all right why didn't i do this earlier i don't know because i'm a moron so look at where his head makes contact. this is such a little thing but for me as someone who is a newer wrestling fan i i'm learning every day about 
the way that it actually works, the way that the mechanics of wrestling actually work. So how you actually take a DDT in real life. Like I learn stuff like that every day as I watch wrestling, as I talk to more people. Um, the cool thing to me about video games is that you don't have to worry about any of that. You don't have to worry about keeping your opponent safe. You can just mash his head into the ground because it's a video game. It doesn't matter. So this kind of animation to me, he, he just goes head first into the ground. So this shows me that this game is going to be really over the top and saying, this is a video game you can do whatever you want in a cartoonish atmosphere. I did notice, I think I saw, an, I think I saw a rating. Did I see a rating? Yeah, yeah, look at that, rated teen. So, in a cartoon version like this, a teen rating would make me think that there is going to be some kind of crazy stuff here. Some weapons, feeding your opponents to an alligator, <laughs> you know, if that's what it is. Um, again, this is total speculation. This could be all bullshit. So, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. But this little thing here, this little animation of John Cena just dr just being driven head first straight into the canvas tells me that this is going to be, uh, I, I guess you could say violent for lack of a better word. Um, it's, it's going to be more visceral. It's going to be a cartoon brawler, a cartoon fighting game, not a cartoon trying to be a simulation of a wrestling game. Because that's, that's my main fear is if they said, oh, we're doing a non-sim wrestling game, meaning it's WWE 2K20, but everyone just looks like a cartoon now as opposed to a real one. No, this tells me that this is really, this is truly a non-simulation game. We are going to get to do some crazy ass stuff. So um, I'm going to end this here by talking about what I want to see from this game and trying to keep it as realistic as possible. Are they going to be able to deliver us the gigantic creation creation suite that WWE 2K games have had in the past few years? No, I highly, highly doubt it that they're going to be able to do that. What they can do, though, is give us an image upload. All right. That, that's all we need. That's all. And I say we like I'm some some kind of talented creator. No, the actual talented people out there, all they need is the ability to upload images and be able to manipulate them within the game. If you can do that, you don't need you don't need a thousand options for logos to put on a t-shirt. You just need the ability to upload an image in order to do that. And then you're good. You can create any wrestler in the game. You can create or any wrestler in the world, I should say, if you could just upload images, face, you know, uh, face scan images, face images, logos, all that kind of stuff. So as long as you give us that, then we should be good. Give us that, the ability to create wrestlers and maybe arenas. I mean, I think of all the stuff I want to see, I want to see create a finisher back. I doubt we're going to see it in this game. I doubt it. But between create a finisher and create an arena, if we could just give one of those two, then I think that would be great. Maybe create a title. I don't think that's that important. Um, but as far as creation, let us have fun. Again, if you give the basics, image uploader, and just the basic ability to work with clothing and, and all that kind of stuff, then you don't need to give as many options. Allow players the freedom. Uh, that's what we want to see. That's what I want to see as far as creation. Now, as far as modes in the game, this, this one to me um, is is a little bit uh <laughs> this one's tough because depending on how much time they had with this game the problem with these types of games and the issue that i had with wwe all-stars is that there were no modes in the game you just played there was that there was the um the kind of the story mode the the quasi story mode which was fun for a laugh or two but it's not gonna suck me in there was not a universe mode there was not a gm mode do I think we're gonna see a universe mode or a GM mode here? No, no I don't. There's no way that, that you can do that in a game like this with this little time that they had and expect it to be any any level of competent at all. So no, I, I, I don't think there will be. What can we get beyond just play now and hopefully they're gonna give us online? Well, it's hard to say. Um, I would suggest in a game like this, give give us a 
uh, the ability to take over a, a wrestler, either create our own or, or take over one. Put them into a, a WWE calendar and then let the game kind of book itself, but do all the kind of crazy stuff. See, the thing is, is that I've been working with WWE Universe Mode now to do this GAW series. And Universe Mode does some weird stuff. But in a simulation game, this stuff doesn't make any sense. You know, so I'm building up to a pay-per-view and I have a rivalry with my world champion, right? At the pay-per-view, the world, the way that the game books it, the world champion not only doesn't have a match against the guy he's in a rivalry with, it's not even the main event <laughs> for the world title. So it just does some stupid stuff for no reason because it's a simulation game. In a cartoon-like game like this, in an arcade game, do all the crazy crap you want to do and let me enjoy it. I don't have to book it. Just let me play as a wrestler and go through all this crazy crap that's going on. Do, I don't really, I don't know anything about video game development. So is that harder to do than just giving us a bare bones GM mode? I have no idea. I, I really, really don't know. So, you know, this is all subject to time constraints on development and all that kind of stuff. I really don't know what the answer is with that. But if we could just get something, something other than play now, anything, uh, I it'll just it'll extend the lifespan of the game because this is the only this is the only wwe wrestling game we are getting for a year and the the uh aew video game is probably a ways off so that's not coming within this year that's not coming before wwe 2k22 um virtual basement is doing a wrestling game that has a lot of i think impact and ring of honor stars which is cool we'll have to see what the deal is on that one um you can check out uh, I'll have it in the top corner. We played a virtual basement game a couple weeks ago. They did Broomstick League, um, and I had some mixed feelings about that one. So we'll see about that. And yeah, other than that, you got Fire Pro, and then you, and then you have WWE 2K19 because nobody's playing 20. Let's be real. So this game is gonna have to tide us over for a year, uh, as far as wrestling games go, and they're gonna have to give us some meat on the bones beyond just a play now. And if that means that the game costs thirty dollars as opposed to twenty, but then I get even a bare bones GM mode, I'll I'll pay the extra ten dollars. I don't give a damn. You know, I'll definitely do that. So, you know, the the thing is, is that WWE 2K they need to earn some goodwill right now. If that means taking a loss monetarily on this game, if they're in a position to do it, they should, because they need goodwill right now. If it means if it means getting another developer in to help them maybe with adding an online mode while while this other developer i'm trying to remember their name right now uh saber interactive if they do like a gm mode or a universe mode if that's what that means then do that you need goodwill right now if you are wwe because what you've done is you've canceled a yearly release for a sports game which has not happened in almost a decade for any sports franchise i can think of besides nba live which is a little bit of a, that's kind of a different issue because that's not an exclusive license. You're in kind of unprecedented territory right now if you are WWE 2K. And so you need to deliver fans a game that they will enjoy for a year until you give us WWE 2K22, all right? The fans of WWE games are... They're, they're patient. The fans of any sports games are patient. You have to be because they've been so bad for years because they've been yearly and yearly games don't work. They're patient. They're willing to work with you. They're willing to create. I mean, you look at what people can do using creation suites and that kind of stuff. Fans are willing to do that. If you give them the tools, they will do it. Just don't screw them over when they try to do it, which is the issue that 2K20 ended up with and that's why you know wwe 2k is is in this scenario that they're in right now this is why visual concepts is in serious trouble uh because all this has happened so at the end of the day i really hope this is good i'm excited the more i watch this trailer the more i'm excited for this game so you know take that for what it's worth again watch this trailer watch it with the music watch it for yourself dissect everything that I couldn't get to and 
you probably have a different opinion from mine. Let's discuss it. Go down to the comments. Let's have a conversation. I want to talk about this game with you guys and let me know what you're thinking and what you want to see and whether it's realistic or not. These are the types of conversations that we should be having as fans because we are the people who allow 2K and visual concepts to exist. They wouldn't exist without our money, so we should have some say in it. And at least the way that we can begin with that is to to discuss it amongst ourselves and have ideas for, for what we want to do. So go down in the comments. Let's talk about all things WWE 2K regarding this announcement. Um, sorry for kind of a, a more boring type video, a little bit of a longer video. This is the first one I've ever done uh, in this particular style. So you know what? If nobody watches it, at least it's a bit cathartic for me. So, so uh, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Subscribe so you can see GAW as well as all of our content. We appreciate it.